Hey, welcome back to The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. Let's now go back in time to 2012 on this day in history and the 20th of September. What happened today really was something that most women were very unpleased with. And that's because um, they were traveling to Saudi Arabia for that pilgrimage and they were stopped because they were unaccompanied by a man. So... The result of that was that Nigeria um, effectively suspended flights to Saudi Arabia after hundreds of Nigerian women traveled without a male escort. And there were mostly women between the age of 25 and 35. And they were stopped at the airport in uh, Jeddah and Medina. Um, so the, the story really here was that, and um, the main problem was that their surnames did not correspond with those of their husbands or the male guardian on visa documentation. So they're basically saying that um, they had to be turned back. Some women turned back in tears, you know, some carried babies and all of that. So it, it really was something that, you know, people opposed to say that they wish that they could have, you know, made that holy, holy pilgrimage. You know, um, most Muslims, you know, look forward to that pilgrimage, um, you know, at least once. And uh, each Muslim country can send at, at, at most 1,000 pilgrims um, per million citizens. So when this issue um, happened at that time, when women had to be turned back because they were unaccompanied by a man or the name, their surname did not match the documentation of you know, the guy that they were going with, they had to be turned back and Nigeria had to suspend flights to Saudi Arabia on the state history. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out why the names didn't match. You know, this, was this something that, you know, we're not sure happened or is there some fraud you know that was going on there i'm really not sure Maybe. you know and i probably also need to figure out more about what the rules are with women going you know to um, saudi arabia for for hajj i'm not sure exactly what it is um you know but the good thing is you know that was 2012 you know and over time i think saudi arabia has also been begun to relax some of its you know laws that were a little you know stringent with regards females uh, i think they've also been you know created um, um, open up laws for women to be able to drive and to work and do some of the things that were um, almost impossible you know a, a decade ago um, which you know i believe is something that a lot of other countries should be able to also you know a lot of muslim countries should also be able to look at and you know maybe also follow suit um, some of those the tightening of, of laws is very very sad seeing what's going on in afghanistan uh, today, um, girls can't go to school, women aren't allowed to come outside, you can't even interview women. I saw a post a few days ago of, uh, uh, that uh, women aren't al allowed to you know, be interviewed on the radio or are, are not allowed to listen to radio or to contribute to radio programs and some of all of that. So, so their voices are essentially being cut off. Yeah, you know, and it, it's, really, it's, it's really, really sad. Um, and I, I hope you know, that Afghanistan is able to get itself out of that place mm. um, in little or no time. So. Um, this was 2012. Um, it might have been proper, a problem with documentation. May have been, you know, them also trying to figure out ways to leave Nigeria. I really have no idea how that happened, but you know, it was eventually handled by the Nigerian government and the Saudi Arabian government. So, um, it's uh, just a little bit of history for us this morning. We'll take a short break. When we come back, what is going on with the Nigerian Immigration Service? Why aren't Nigerians being able to get passport booklets as quickly as they normally should? Um, an investigative journalist, David Hundey, has put out a report a few days ago uh, that detailed a lot that he will be sharing with us this morning. And that comes up right after this short break. Good morning. <music> 